What's up, everybody? It's Erica from 805 FM1, and welcome, welcome to another episode of One on One, hashtag One Step Forward. Now, as you all know, or may not know for that matter, we recently had our online concert called Parangal Bayanihan at Samahan, We Heal as One, where we gathered dozens of Filipino artists across this country where they performed live as our tribute to our dear frontliners. But this time, this show, One on One, is all about you guys. Yes, you, the one who is sitting right now in your houses watching this because, of course, we also want to pay tribute to our homeliners, quote-unquote, sa tawag nga natin, because you guys are already helping in flattening the curve just by sitting at home, doing your parts. You guys are already doing a really, really big help, so that's the reason why we gathered the show for you guys. But before we do that, we would like to thank all of the radio stations under the Philippine Broadcasting Service, namely FM1, FM1 Davao, Capital FM2, RP1, and RP2 for putting up the special. So without further ado, let's get down to business. Now, I am particularly very excited for our special guests today because I myself am a huge fan of them. I do listen to their songs, so I am very honored to be the one to interview them today. And you guys may know them back in 2016 when their debut single called Again topped the Spotify charts worldwide. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all please welcome Lian and Nara. Yay! Hi! Hey, hola. <laughs> oh, how are you guys? <laughs> I'm good. Kamusta? How is the quarantine so treating crazy. you guys? Mm, we have our bad days. We have our good days. Yeah. Very normal. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to really be productive in this planet. Everything Same. that's been happening. I mean, it's really crazy. But yeah, just trying to still get our creative juices flowing. Mm-hmm. Trying to inspired although it's really it's been hard but yeah Mm -mm. yeah Okay, that's true. I would have to agree with that. I think this whole thing is really also taking a toll on all of us mentally. But, you know, I yeah. think it's just all about, you know, just finding the little things that help you cope every day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. before we get started, yeah. I just want to say thank you guys so much for being here with us today. Because I'm sure our watchers and <laughs> listeners right now are all excited to know a little bit more about you guys as people and as artists too. So, ang tanong, are you guys ready? <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> we are. <laughs> I think we are red. Am I red? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> okay, I am. All right, and what better way, Shamper, to know somebody than through facts, diba? So I got here some five facts about you guys that your fans may or may not know. So let's get down to it. Ayan, our first fact is. You guys have apparently been singing together for almost eight years. That's crazy. Uh-huh. So, yeah, we, we met back in college. <laughs> That's when it all started. Uh, what, what was that? The, I think, oh, I think this is included in the facts, right? Mm-hmm. Like our first performance. But, yeah, which we will discuss I after I this. I think I there. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are blockmates pala. Wait, where did you guys go to school? Assumption. 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 Hey, fellow assumptionista. Oh, really? Two of the fish ball. Hi, pretty guy. I don't know. I don't know where that came from. I'm not. That really happened. I'm not sure if that really happened. It didn't happen. I think it's just like an inside like, joke. It is, so it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like, it's okay. kind of um impression long about <laughs> us assumptionistas. It's, yeah. just, it's hilarious. Right. But yeah, I mean, yeah, tell me <clears throat> tell me about you guys. Like, how did you, so you guys were blockmates. And then how did you yeah. guys, like, come together and actually make music together? So it all started when uh, the seniors sort of we were friends the seniors found out that i could sing and they asked me if i would performed during one of the events and i was very skilled with the, oh still i'm not very skilled with the guitar and i knew that i ever could play the guitar and i asked her do you want to like uh, accompany me for the, for the event and uh, she started blending when i started singing that she started blending and that's when it all started the people loved it and they would invite us every time there was an event in school 
And <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. And we, would, we started doing covers, posting them on YouTube, SoundCloud. But we really uh, we started writing original songs together, together in 2016. So that's after graduation. And that's when we released it. So it was all covers before. I see. Okay. Mm-hmm. But before you guys released your debut single, which was in 2016, you guys would perform covers Muna for four years before that. Yeah. Am I correct? Uh-huh. Yeah. Nice. I love it. Okay. Well, which brings me to my second fact. Um, what was the first song that you guys sang together? One and only by Adele. I, Adele. <laughs> did you guys see her glow yeah. up? Grab it, no. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So it's always been beautiful, but now it's quite a bit of change. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh. I really love Adele. Talent. So would you guys consider Adele as one of your musical inspirations? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Even when we started doing gigs, we her song. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, like, he, she's one of the influences. Yeah, that's true. I agree. Okay, so since you guys have known each other for so long, now I know that yeah. you guys have a nickname that you guys call each other, and it's called Tuck, right? <laughs> Diba? Yes. Where did that come Talk. from? Itak tak mo, itak tak mo. Saan na galing yun? Wala pa kami uniform. So for the first week, na, naka-casual kami. And napansin namin, lagi kami nakatak. Na, lagi yung damit namin nakatak. Okay. In. So, so I don't think I call it. Tak. <laughs> <gasps> so Sorry. I really talk na every time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Huh. We just wanted to come up with something because parang na our sister also went to uh, assumption. Tapos may best friend din siya and they called each other Ellie because it's an elevator or something. So we wanted to come up with our own. Yeah. Wala lang. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> so who's <sino, sino, laughs> si talk number one, talk number two? Meron bang ganon? <laughs> wala, wala. <laughs> We just really call each other. We uh, call Sana talk in or talk out. <laughs> <laughs> it's so <laughs> corny. Talk <laughs> 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 in. Oi, talk in. Talk out. Kain na tayo. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> talk na lang. Okay, so our fourth fact naman. Ito, very interesting. And I'm actually very interested to know your background stories behind this. So, Lian is apparently scared of lizards, which is understandable. But Nara is Are scared of kidding? dogs. Why? Why? Any kind, any kind of animal except fish. Because I'm not sure. Because neighbor namin dito before, hinabol ako eh. German Shepherd yung dog nila. So, sobrang laki. Ah, <laughs> Trauma na ako after. Mm, yes. Hindi <laughs> ka naman kinagato. Kasi yung W yun. Hindi naman pera hinabol ako. Pero ang laki kasi niya. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, super <laughs> nag-panic ako. Wait lang. Yeah. Parang na-imagine ko mm. naman na tumatakbo ka tapos may hinabol ng <laughs> isang German Shepherd sa likod. Ano <laughs> ba? Ang laki ka rin. <laughs> Kaya yun. Every time. Okay. 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 I left my phone to so I didn't know how to stop it. Wait, how funny it was. Okay. I tried to attempt to get mad. I tried 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 to
nabuli niya ako kaya yun ganun <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Gets ko naman yung background story. How about you naman, Lian? Bakit lizards? For a reason, parang feeling ko meron silang grand scheme to, <laughs> to terrorize me. Because ever What's since that? I was a little kid, lagi lang, lagi na ako nahulugan from the ceiling. Alam ko yung nananahimik ko. Kasi ang dami talagang beses. Hanggang sa na-traumatize na ako. Uh, Tapos ngayon, talagang ayoko kahit nakikita sila, ayoko. Kahit picture, hindi ko kaya. Picture? Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting, ah. <laughs> Kapit mo naman yung mga stories. Okay. Anyway, our last fact naman. So, Lian's fave okay. ice cream flavor is pistachio and Nara's naman is strawberry. Ah, uh-huh. aha. Uh-huh. I didn't know that you like strawberry. Really? Ano ako alam mo? Vanilla. <laughs> Hala! Nako, you don't know her favorite ice cream flavor. Ay, hindi pala siya true friend. <laughs> Joke lang. Ako lahat nagbigay ng fact. Isang fact. Ako lahat nagbigay ng fact. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Ayan, okay. That was so much fun. Okay, anyway, sige. So, let's continue on with the getting to know each other. But this time naman, I'll be asking you guys some questions. Are you guys ready? Uh-huh. Medyo yeah. pasabog tong mga questions na to, ah. Woo. Joke lang. Okay, so uh, <laughs> my first question is, what is your favorite song to perform live? Uh, let's start with you, Lian. Uh, this is original, original, no? Uh-huh. Um, any actually any recently okay recently uh favorite ko yung make me sing because uh medyo it's one of our medyo old songs mm-hmm. but uh the band found a way parang to rearrange the for uh rearrange song for live performances so um every time we perform it so around it feels new that's why I like it parang we it's like it's got this new vibe and the crowd really loves it range okay so that's my current favorite understandable i also love that song um how about you nara same with Leon. make me sing also because nga with the new arreglo medyo nag-iba yung vibe niya pero maganda rin yan tama okay well ako i always play that song sa radio during my time slot so ayun oh, yeah? <laughs> my favorite song ko rin siya Thank from you, you guys <laughs> Okay, second question. What was your favorite song to write and create in the studio? Let's start with you, Nara. Mm, I think um, the one we did in Sweden. Mm-hmm. It's not... Yeah, it's keeping me up all night. Okay. Uh, right. We worked with, with, with a producer and uh, another... Songwriter, they call they call it top liner. Tapos we worked on it the whole day. Tapos ang ganda no no ano no output no song. Okay, how about you, Lian? Would you say the same also? Um, mine would be rest. Um, it's it's actually if you, if you listen to all of her songs, it's very different from the rest of her songs. It's very it has this folk vibe and. It's the one, it's the song that we recorded with the band, talaga. So we were on the studio and everything is organic, instruments and all that. So from the drums to the guitars to the bass, we all got to, to see the process unfold. Mm-hmm. And it was, it was wonderful. So for me, it would be a rest. Okay, alright. Okay, next question. Quickly and at the top of your head, what is your go-to karaoke song? Oh. Okay, I would be weak. Oh, I love that song. Okay, and nice choice. Weak, weak. Yeah. <laughs> Think of me. Huh? Ah, you know. Uh, siguro ano? Alanis Morissette na lang. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Tama. <laughs> 
All right. Yeah. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for answering the questions. By the way, that was so much fun getting to know a little bit more about you guys. But um, I think it's time for your first song. Now, the first song that you guys will be playing is called "Again," and this is actually your debut single from 2016, deba. Right? Yeah. So, what's the song mm-hmm. about? Wanting to feel again. <laughs> That's really it. Because yeah. I was at a point in my love drama. I was at a point. At a point that I just wasn't feeling excited about anything. Like no enthusiasm at all. So that's what drove me to to write this song. So yeah, wanting to feel again. Nice. Okay. Well, introducing Leon and Nara's first song that they'll be playing for us today. Everybody, here is again. Now, for those of y'all who just joined us now, we got Leon and Nara on deck. So, thank you so much for being here. And that song that you just heard was their soulful single called Again. And yes, I want to feel again. Please give me feelings. <laughs> At na feel ko sa song na yon. <laughs> Okay, so our next segment, I'll be asking you guys 10 questions. So, ayan, handa na ba kayo? Yes. Okay. Mm, yeah. First question. Ayan, how is oh. the quarantine treating you two naman? Well, I've been just doing a lot of... It's really more about family time, I guess. Because I'm here in the condo with, with my, my dad and my sister, while my mom and my brother... Or in the province, so I think it's really spending time with them, and getting to bond with them, and at the same time working on myself, you know, our music and stuff like that. So it's really just a balance of all these things. Yes, I agree. Okay. Huh? Okay. Are you, Mina. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That my family time, but I'm kind of because my nieces went home already. They've been he- here for a month. Wow. And I've been spending time with them. 
teaching them to sing some songs from high school music. Nice. <laughs> That's um ngayon na wala na sila. They're um yeah, yeah, sending me videos of them singing the song, so I miss them. Oh, aside from that, cute. I've been working out, um playing Animal Crossing. Oh, I'm also addicted <laughs> to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, send me your code. And okay, yeah, game. Let's visit each other. Let's visit each other. <laughs> okay, um, I, I, yeah. Oh. You mentioned working out. So, are you too very religious in working out at home? And if so, what are the tips that you guys can give to our listeners? <laughs> I would try people to give tips. Because <laughs> I put so tama. Like, you know, every every day I get up and I tell myself, okay, we're going to work out today. But it never happens. It's happened like twice. You know, I just jogged like 20 minutes. Twice this whole quarantine, and that's that's the whole cardio thing for me. So yeah. Okay. But I've been thinking so much, so I guess I'm okay. (laughs) All right. Well, since okay, whenever you guys are not working out, the man, like, what are you guys usually doing when you guys are at home? Mm -hmm. I cook. I cook and cook (laughs) after the workout. I cook. (laughs) <laughs> don't go. Really work, I guess, because we're working on our our album actually. Oh, so nice. We already started working on that, so that's what's been keeping us busy these days. Yeah. Wow. Okay, because I actually watched one of your interviews um the other day, and uh-huh. well, this was back then. I th- yeah, I think last year i'm not too sure but you actually you guys actually mentioned that you guys weren't ready to release an album back then but now i'm so glad that you guys are actually making one yeah finally finally popular demand (laughs) due to popular demand (laughs) exactly me included, me included. I've been, I'm like, we have to release an album now, Bilis. It's about time. Yeah, uh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> ever since we released our debut single. So I think it's really time for us to, to make an album or anything. Yeah, I agree, I agree. And I'm so glad that you guys are already starting to make one. So good luck with that. Um, Can I ask for a release date or is that a secret pa? No specific date yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look lang. <laughs> Umiyak pa lang. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, so what are your future plans naman for the new normal after this quarantine? I get anxious whenever I get asked that question because honestly, I don't know what, like I don't have a plan, like a plan pa talaga. With right. what we're going to do after quarantine because mm-hmm. uh, it's really going to be different now. like no live gigs for a while so mm-hmm. we'll probably have to look for ways to better also like, get our music out there right so, I don't know because I'm still figuring it out okay fair me enough me personally I don't I don't know how I'm gonna go to Manila because I'm in the province yeah. I don't know when it will be since our work is like doing gigs and it's not like a regular day job. Because what I've been hearing from the news is that once it's malif once malif yung ECQ, parang they they're gonna be needing um like the pass for it for you to like go to work. Right. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. Especially yeah. as um as artists and musicians, no, like it, it's. I think it's gonna be tough. Which actually brings me to my next question. Um, how do you think this whole pandemic is gonna change the music industry? Like now that things are gonna be online, like on the internet, especially during your live performances, how is this gonna change, um, the music industry? Um. I think what makes me sad about this is it's 
really going to take away the ex- the live experience. I mean, it's different yeah. when you're with people. Yeah. When there's an actual audience in front of you and you connect with them, and you know, it's really about that it's communication. It's the audience and the performer. But now, since we're doing it, like you're watching us um, on your screens, it's very different. So, but I guess we'll have to get used to that. Right. Just really doing everything online for now because we have to be careful and safe. So. Yeah. It's sad, but it's the new normal. So, yeah. 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 Uh, it's good thing that we have we have our phones with us. We have the yeah. internet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 yeah, I agree. So, what other things have you guys been realizing during this lockdown? Like anything personal or anything in general but you know just share with us some of the realizations that you guys have made during this lockdown um for me i guess it would be that everything else that we have it's so like it's superficial like uh, what, what, what what people need to think about now is just survival that's it and extras can come later you know? yeah so i think it's, it's imperative that we take care of ourselves during mm-hmm. this time like not really worry ourselves about the other things that are not really as important as life itself so that for me would be yeah yeah and i also think uh even Gente na yari sa mundo. <laughs> We're still blessed because we get to eat three times a yeah, day. Yeah, I agree. Get yeah. to spend time with our family. Unlike other people, they are, what we've been doing is like do online gigs to help those people, like do everything for them, for for those people na less fortunate. Yeah. So. Tama. Yeah, that's true. And. Yeah. We're, yeah, like what you said, we're already blessed enough to be eating three times a day. At least you guys are yeah. actually sharing your talent and your skills to help in the way that you guys can. Yeah, we're very fortunate then to be able to do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here's a little bit of a, a more fun question, Aman. So, what is the first thing that you guys will do once this ECQ will be lifted? I'm gonna go straight to my condo and check my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna say something like that. Because <laughs> yes. I forgot bring my laptop, my guitar, my recording stuff. So oh, no. what I have now with me is my phone, my switch. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Kaya pala nag Animal Crossing ka na lang <laughs> I want to start working right away. Go to the studio and record. So, yeah, because starting the momentum. So, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And lastly, tips on taking care of your mental health during this time. Because, like what we've said earlier, it's. This this time talaga has taken a toll on us, all of us, especially mentally. Yeah. So what are the what are the can you give us any tips on how to on how to take care of our mental health? Uh, uh, it's also a tip for myself. Really work, working out really helps, you know. Physically being yeah. like uh, you know, I think it does really help working out because then um hindi can I be set your body's at work and stuff like that. So, and also taking time to to, to, to slow down and rest. Yeah. Like not beating yourself up too much if, like with work and stuff like that. Read a book, watch a good movie, um, uh, eat healthy, and yeah. parang yun, just really try to keep it steady. Yeah. yeah. Agree. Mm, same. Work out, uh, Learn new stuff, accomplish, accomplish um some after everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Perfect. And I would actually have to agree with both of you. So thank you guys so much for your answers, uh, Lian and Nara. And that was actually our last question. So I hope you, all of our watchers and our listeners right now, got to know them both just a little bit more. And in behalf of PBS, again, Lian and Nara, thank you guys so much for being here with thank us. You. And yeah, we, we'd, um, lo- we'd love to have you, you here. Um yeah, thank you just for taking the time out of your busy schedules for having a little chit chat with us. Now, before we move on to your last yeah. song, is there anything you guys want to say to all of your supporters and your listeners right here? And maybe you guys can also promote your social media accounts. Hi there. Magigita kita rin tayo soon. Konting tis na lang. And please do listen to our latest single Evergreen. It's out now on our Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music. And so my first time kami mapanood. We are Lian and Ara. You can check more of our stuff sa aming Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's at Lian and Na Ara. Yeah. Also, uh, thank you. Yes. You can check that out on Spotify. Mm-hmm. Thank you. All right, perfect. Thank you. So this last song that we are about to play next is called Someday. And I know this is a cover that you guys did of Nina, am I right? Yep. yep. Okay, so tell me more about how you guys, and why, in specific, why you guys chose this song to cover. We were actually gifted. uh, It was a Warner project. Warner Music project. Uh, I think they were celebrating I'm not sure, 25 years, and they yeah, wanted yeah, yeah. artists they, to cover yeah. um, like uh, songs from from you mga speak at all before. So mm-hmm. um, so they give some day to us. And we are very lucky to, to be able to, uh, to cover that. So that's how it. No, and then we made our like gave it our own twist. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like some added another verse to that. So yeah. <laughs> that's all right. Well, you guys heard them leaving us with something to cry about. Here is Lian and Ara with Someday. Someday, you're gonna realize. See this through my eyes By then I won't even be there Cause I'll be happy somewhere Even if I can't I know You don't really see my words Someday someone's gonna love me 
world seems that it don't show But in time I'll be alright Just so you know Oh, tomorrow is a new day I see the sun shining I know right now it seems that it don't show But in time I'll be alright Just so you know Oh, tomorrow is a new day I see the sun 